man, I had a tough time. Just, I don't think, I don't think it was on camera. Maybe it was. I think maybe it was on camera. Yeah, I guess it was, but it was bad. You step in the mud and two inches of mud would stick to the bottom of your shoe. So that's, it's worse than being on ice. On ice, you can put cleats on your bike. There, <laughs> even if you had cleats, the mud was two inches thick. Stable, but slippery. It was very, very, very tough. Hopefully by tomorrow that trail is dried out because I do enjoy tr driving that trail. Now we can go over to Can-Am Maverick, but this trip I'm focusing on the dirt bike. After I did the math, we haven't used the dirt bike since last. Uh, this is this is June, so I haven't used it since last September. So there's this little thing called work, gentlemen. <laughs> Is busy working a lot. Now we did take it with us to Idaho in September, and I did use it a little bit up there for sure. But uh, I haven't used it since then. I've been I've been busy working, but that's going to change. We're gonna, we're going to do way less work and more play from this summer for sure. <sighs> Next stop on the list that definitely wanted to go. This is a beautiful lake, gentlemen. It, this is as pretty as it gets. And the water level is very full. I mean, I should come here again in about a month and uh, drop the old uh, windsurf board in right here and just surf all the way down to the other end. You usually have a good breeze going down the lake. So uh, it's a fun little tour down there. You leave the board. I, I can't go against the wind, gentlemen. I'm not that good. But then you leave the board down there and, and jog back up here to the Jeep and go get it. No one's going to fuck with it. Oh, man, this sun is beautiful, guys. Oh, man. I don't know if you've seen my hands earlier in that earlier video where they were purple and I was warming them up on on the exhaust here but man they were fucking cold that's the way it is gentlemen when your gloves are wet you're wet and you're riding in 47 degree temperatures shit starts going sideways very quickly as far as coldness we're gonna get some new rain gear I know that that rain jacket I have is very good. I wish I would have bought the rain pants with it when I bought it. So now it's kind of tough to f buy rain quality rain gear. You know what I'm saying? You have to buy the jacket and the bottoms. So, uh, but we'll we'll get quality shit this time. <laughs> I decided to get that cheap stuff, and you know, motor quality motorcycle uh, rain gear is pretty expensive. You can get First Light. First Light has rain gear, but it's like very expensive. It's like 400 bucks. I should wait till they have a sale and or I get a coupon or something. And maybe if you can get like 25% off, but even 300 bucks is, that's a lot of money for rain gear, buddy. You don't really use it too often, but I generally do get stuck in the rain at least once or twice a year on either this bike maybe four times a year this bike or the street bike you know what i'm saying or the mountain bike you'll carry you carry rain. if it looks like rain you carry the gear with you all right man short burst gotta go